Hey everyone, my name is Swarsh and welcome back in another video on Just a Tech YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can jailbreak an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch having the disable screen or a passcode screen very easily. So if you have an iPhone that is on the passcode screen and you have you enter the wrong passcode many times, you will face the disable screen. And now the problem is if you try to jailbreak with these kind of devices, your device will not detect by the PC or a 3 tools or a iTunes or not even with a check rein because the usb restriction is on so how can we jailbreak these kind of devices i'm going to show you in this video like how you can jailbreak it very easily you can jailbreak the latest ios 12.5.1 down to the ios 12 ios 13 to the latest ios 13.7 and the latest ios 14 to the 14.4 so ios 12 ios 13 and the ios 14 is fully supported with this method now let's talk about the which device model is supported like which iPhone model, iPad model and iPod touch model is supported with this method. So I will display on the screen like which device is supported so you can read that. So all the devices that are having the A9 chips, A8 chips and A7 chips are supported. So include the iPhone 5s, 6, 6 plus, 6s, 6s plus, iPad mini 2, iPad mini 3 iPad mini 4, iPhone SE 1st generation, iPad 5th and 6th generation, iPod 6th generation. So you can jailbreak all these devices very easily. Now I hope everything is clear now like which device is supported and which iOS version is supported by this method. Now let's go to the computer screen and start this process. Now to perform this you will need the Mac operating system. If you don't have Mac, if you have a Windows user, you can try the Hackintosh method and install Mac OS on your Windows machine and you can use this method. I have already made 2-3 videos on Hackintosh installation on your Windows. So you can try that method. I will give links in the description of that video too. Now the latest checkrain version that is currently available that is 0.12.2 and you can use this method to jailbreak your activation lock devices or a normal open devices like iOS 12 to the latest iOS 14.4 but to jailbreak the disabled iPhone or iPad you will need the Mina USB patcher as you already know I made 2-3 videos on Mina USB patcher so if you want to jailbreak the disabled or a passcode screen iPhone iPad you have to use this Mina USB patcher but the problem is this Mina USB patcher is not working on the iOS 14.3 and the latest iOS 14.4 but in this video I will show you a way to jailbreak the passcode disabled screen iPhone iPad without Mina USB patcher from the new Checkrain 0.12.2 patch version. From the left side you will see the original Checkrain version and the right side you will see the patch version that is Checkrain RG. So you can download this file from the description link. So the notable changes you will see the Checkrain patch version by the Kenny iOS. So it will written on the patch version not for the official version. So you can download from the links in the description or you can visit my blog link from the description and you can get the file from there first you have to get the zip file you need to extract it so just double click on it and it will extract on the desired location so it's a zip file now you will get the checkrain rg file so it's a checkrain rg patch version now you can run directly just double click on it and open it and if you get any warning like unknown location and unknown installation just go to the settings and security privacy and allow the check in RG app from that now first I will show you if you try to jailbreak the disable or a passcode device with the official check in 0.12.2 version and what are the errors will you face while you jailbreak with the original version now the first device I have a iPhone 6 that is running on the latest 12.5.1 and currently it's on the passcode screen. So whenever I try to connect with the device it will not detect by the PC, iTunes, 3 tools or a check run app because the USB restriction is on and it's not let you to connect the device directly. So first I have to put this device into the recovery mode and then check run app will detect it. So for that first connect your device and then reboot it normally. Now once the device is completely off, just unplug your USB. After that you have to plug your USB stick again and when you see the Apple logo, just press the home button immediately and keep pressing on it until you will see the recovery mode logo. Now the recovery mode is successful and you can see on the screen Checkrain app has detected the iPhone model and the other stuff. Now click on next and normally jailbreak it, first you have to put your device into recovery mode and then DFU mode and then just follow the instruction on the screen.
Now as you can see on the screen my device is completely on but the check-in app is still stuck on the booting screen that means the jailbreak is not done because of this USB restriction is on. So this type of error you will get on the iOS 12.5.1 when you try to jailbreak the passcode or a disable screen. Now the next device I have a iPhone 6s that is currently latest running on the iOS 14. So if you try to jailbreak the iOS 14 with the same original check range 0.12.2 you will face the minus 20 or a minus 21 bootstrap upload failed error. This error same on the iOS 13 and the iOS 14 also. So like this you will get the same error. So like this you will get all these kind of error on iOS 12.5.1 or iOS 13.7 or iOS 14. So now I will use the Checkrain RG patch version and jailbreak all these kind of iOS and these different devices so that all your doubt will be clear. So first I will use the iPhone 6 that is latest running on the 12.5.1. So first I will open the Checkrain RG patch version and then I will put my device into recovery mode and then I will connect it to the Checkrain app. Now it's detected by the check -in and you have to follow the same procedure, click on next, put your device into DFU mode and then it starts jailbreaking your device. Now this time it will not stuck on the booting as we did on the official check -in version but it will proceed to all done and your jailbreak will be completely done. I will show you the proof so that you can get all the things very clear. So this time as you can see it's showing all done on the Checkrain app and the booting process is completely okay and your device is also on. And now still if you have any doubt like the jailbreak is not done properly let me just open the device and show you the Checkrain is there or not. Now as you can see the device is now open and the Checkrain app is there so let me just confirm my passcode. So now you can see the Checkrain app is there you're now you have to connect your the Wi-Fi and you can install Syria. And if you want to copy the activation files from the device you can do that also with so many tools there so i will make the dedicated video on that too now you can see the cd is working fine so you can install it so by this patch version you can jailbreak ios 12.1 to the latest 12.5.1 so all variants of ios 12 is supported by this method now i will connect the different iphone model that are running on the latest ios 14 so you can see i have an iphone se that is currently running on the latest ios 14 now it's on the disable screen so i will follow the same procedure first i will put my device into recovery mode by manual method and then i will start jailbreaking Now one more important point if you are jailbreaking the iOS 14.4, 14.3 or iOS 14 you have to allow the untested iOS option from the Checkrain app and then you can proceed normally. This is only for the iOS 14, iOS 13, iOS 12 you can proceed it normally. Now as you can see on the screen iOS 14 is also supported with the Checkrain patch version and you can easily jailbreak the passcode or a disable devices. This is the iPhone SC first generation and it's running on the latest iOS 14 so you can easily jailbreak with that. Now the Checkrain loader is also there and everything is working so I'm also showing you the proof that this method is 100% working on A8, A9 and A7 devices. Now we have successfully done the iPhone 6 on the latest 12.5.1, iPhone SE first generation on iOS 14. Now we will done the iPhone 6s that is also running on the iOS 14. So first I will put my device into recovery mode and follow the same procedure that we have just followed in the previous devices. Now as I mentioned last time you have to allow the untested option for iOS 14 devices so just go to the options and then allow it so I have already allowed it now click on next and then start jailbreak.
Now it's showing all done. That means the jailbreak is successful. Now I will unlock my device and see the jailbreak is done or not. So just click on done and unlock your device. Actually in my case I know the passcode just showing you the practical process but in your case you don't know the passcode or it's on the disable screen so you can follow the same procedure and now you can see the check in app is there and everything is working I have shown you iOS 12.5.1 iOS 14 latest on the two devices like iPhone SE first generation and the iPhone 6s. Now this method is work for all these devices including iPhone 5s and all the devices I have shown you like A8, A9 and A7 devices are supported. Other models like A10 and A11 are not supported so you have to wait for the next update and please like this video because it takes too much time to make all these kind of videos and show you all complete process step by step and if you have any problem comment down below I will love to answer it and follow me on all my social media handles so till then goodbye take care and peace out.